I just really think you should try to walk or I think it'll be helpful. I asked a test at the hospital that said no walker needed. Thank you anyway, but no thank you. Mm. Wow. So two days after we got back from Utah, my husband had sort of an emergency surgery. He had a lot of neck pain and it was decided before Utah that that's what he needed to do. So of course, after surgery, they give you your do's and don'ts for the recovery period. My husband, competitive athlete still at heart, has been pushing past the restrictions. I think I can still do this. Maybe I could still do that. I said, we're taking this walker home. You might need it. He said, I'm good. I told the nurse we were taking it anyway. But he did do what he needed to do to clear his work schedule, some of it. And we also had to make adjustments at home. I always cook dinner, but he pretty much takes care of his own breakfast. But now he's been letting me know what he can eat and I've been taking his meals upstairs. At first, I was taking as much as I could carry at a time because we don't have a serving tray. Just never needed one, till now. So after like three or four mornings of this, I'm like, Lord, what can I use? And I saw this little tray that had vitamin drinks in it, and I started using that to carry everything up. And don't laugh, that's all I had. I was thanking God. So I'm praying for my husband's full recovery and strength and that he will abide by everything the doctors have told him to do. But I got a feeling one thing he ain't going to do is use that walker. I am on LSU's campus on my way to the Simone Augustus statue unveiling. Simone was a star women's basketball player for LSU and went on to be um, a WNBA champion, among other things. And so it's an exciting day. My husband could not be here because he is recovering. People are kind of looking like, where is he? I told you that gymnastics is my favorite sport. I think basketball is his favorite. So he really wishes he could be here today. I'll show him all my pictures. Okay, pause. That feeling you get when you think you're early and the program has already started? How did I think there was only an outdoor program with the unveiling and there was a whole indoor program as well? They told me where my seat was, but I was too embarrassed to go find it. I said, I'm gonna just sit right here on the end. the most decorated female student-athlete in the history of Louisiana State University. The world will never forget her name. Simona Gunther. The drum roll, please. by gymnastics to see how Kaya Johnson was doing. She was in my first blog two days ago at the Kentucky meet. She tore her Achilles and she's now out for the season. We were so sad to see that. Then it was on to the PMAC for a women's basketball game.
Horseshoe Tigers, 84. So I like to get up early in the morning and work out. The treadmill is one of my prayer closets. I don't know what it is. I'm talking like over 20 years now. When I'm on the treadmill, that's when I pray, I listen to worship music, I hear from the Lord. Working out is just worship for me. So this morning, I'm just really talking to God about this upcoming trip I have. It was planned in December, way before we had any idea Bill would have surgery. An overseas trip, a place I've been wanting to go for years. Over the Christmas holidays, Bill and I were talking and he had a business trip at the end of January that I was not going on. And we said, you know what, that would be a good time for me to go on this other trip. And he was excited for me and helping me plan it. I booked all the airfare, three different cities, the hotels, and was so excited about it. And when there was first talk of a surgery, he said, well, I should get it done after you get back from your trip. And I said, no, you shouldn't wait because you're in pain. You shouldn't prolong that, do it before the trip. And we figured there's a recovery period, but it'll still be another two weeks before I have to leave. But now that he's had the surgery, you realize surgery is surgery. And even beyond the two weeks, he may need help with this or that. But when we talk about it, he's like, no, go on the trip. I can have this person do that and that person do that. It's fine, go on the trip. I'm excited for you to go. But I just really want to hear from the Lord. I did pray before I booked the trip but I just want him to confirm that it is for me to go. He establishes our plans. So I'm praying. Do I stay, Lord, or do I go? Yesterday was basketball. Today is gymnastics. My husband just said, I should try to get up and come with you. I said, no, you will not. You have to recover. He loves sports so much, and he just loves showing up to support. So I am off to the first home meet for gymnastics of the season. Back in the PMAC, it got transformed overnight from basketball to gymnastics. Some thought LSU would get blown out going against the number one team, Oklahoma, and with Kaya Johnson out. But the story was the way the others stepped up and rose to the challenge. Some of them had never competed and did so well tonight. Hi, everybody. So I'm with Kaya again, and we know what happened. And she's such a leader, and I just wanted her to just talk about how she's feeling right now. Um, obviously, it's hard, but... We still have a long way to go, and I just want to be there for my teammates. And yes. tonight, I, or today, I feel like we showed that my injury is not going to really have a huge negative effect. So I'm really proud of my girls, and they're going to keep working, and we're all going to keep getting better. And she stepped up. I told her because she stepped up in spirit, the rest of the team was able to step up. And this is the kind of leader that she is. Thank so, you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Praying for you. Thank you. So I got up early this morning and drove to New Orleans because y'all, the other day I was upstairs and I was moved to start looking at what I was going to pack. Still didn't know if I was going on the trip, but I said, if I am going, it's only a few days away. I need to start thinking about what I'm taking. So I start looking at what I'm packing, then felt moved to get my passport. I have not needed my passport in years, but I knew where it was, I got it and y'all, it was expired. It had expired in September. So I immediately started talking to God like, okay, Lord, <laughs> I thank you because I wasn't thinking about this passport. I thought it was all well and good. So I thank you for prompting me to look for this passport to get it and discover that I can't go anywhere. 
in this current state. So I started praying like, what does this mean? Because I had already been praying, do I stay, do I go? Does this mean that I'm not going? I said, Lord, what do I do? What do I do? If I'm not going, that's fine. I just want to know your will. So then I go to Bill, I'm like, you will not believe this. And I told him about the passport and he immediately said, I don't think that means you're not going. Let's pray. And so he started praying, Lord, I pray that we can find a way for Kim to go on this trip. He was just really for me going. And he said, I bet you can go to New Orleans or Dallas or Houston and um, go to one of the passport offices and get it renewed there. So while I was kind of resigned to the fact that I wasn't going, Bill just got really proactive and he got me an appointment at the New Orleans passport office. The appointment was at 8.30 this morning. I left the house at about 6.30. Got here really right on time because of the traffic. So now I'll be in New Orleans until this afternoon. They said my passport will be ready at about 2.30. The trip is two days away, two days away. This is crazy. But I'm actually still praying, even with a passport. I want to know that it's God's will for me to go. Whenever I have to get up and out of the house early, I miss that settled, quiet time with the Lord. And so just sitting here eating by myself, it felt good to just lift my attention upward. Got my passport, praise God. It's 2.30. I'm headed back to Baton Rouge. We have a gymnastics meet at 6 p.m. This is the second one this week. We had a special one Monday afternoon. So don't want to miss it. As I watched gymnastics, I got an answer to my prayer about the trip. The Holy Spirit drew a spiritual parallel for me. Kaya's injury, sad as it was, was an opportunity for others to step in and go beyond what they would normally do. And in the body of Christ, when there's a need, it's an opportunity for others to step in and do what they may not normally do, to bear a burden, to help, to serve. I could trust that God had Bill covered by moving others to help, even with things that I'm not able to do. God gave me the peace and confirmation I needed to go.